Breaking tonight off the top, the autopsy on a seven-year-old girl killed in her Ludington home is now finished. Chloe Stout found dead yesterday. A man, a 39-year-old, also in the room where Chloe was found. He had a stab wound to his heart. 24-Hour News 8's Megan Stemble is at the live desk right now. Megan is on the phone with the medical examiner who conducted the autopsy on the little girl. Megan? Suzanne, that's right. Kent County Medical Examiner Dr. Stephen Cole joining us. Dr. Cole, I understand that you completed that two-hour autopsy on Chloe. What can you tell us about the cause and manner of her death? Well, uh, there's not a whole lot I can say at this point without uh, the go-ahead from the uh, Ludington Police Department. Uh, I say that because it is a homicide, and without their permission, I'm reluctant to give information that they may want to keep confidential. I think we really need to hear from them, but I can tell you it's a homicide, and I did complete that examination today. Okay. Can you describe her body at all to us? Were there any outward signs of trauma that were visible on her body? Well, I can say in a general fashion that, yes, there was some uh, outward trauma to the upper part of her body. Okay. And you described those earlier as a traumatic death. Can you elaborate at all on that term? Well, I can say for certain, of course, that she was not uh, shot, uh, she was not stabbed, but she had, mm -hmm. did have a fatal injury. Okay. Now, was there anything that you saw during the examination that would suggest that she was sexually abused? Well, what we, what we did, as we typically do uh, in the murder or homicide uh, of a female victim, is we did a rape kit examination, and what we do is we take swabs and submit those to the state police crime lab for them to analyze for... Uh, evidence of semen, and we did do that. I didn't see uh, major uh, injuries to uh, the genital region. Okay, and you said that is normal for a female murder victim coming in to, to go ahead and perform the rape kit? Absolutely. Okay, thank you, Dr. Stephen Cole, Kent County Medical Examiner. Susie Bryan, back to you.